Right, so some time ago I bought some of this epoxy knife scale material. I think I bought this at the last Maker's Central. Well, I'm not sure, but possibly did. Anyway, I've used some of it. I've still got a fair bit left, but I thought I'd have a go at making some of my own. Um, I just thought it'd be quite a nice idea because I found in the back of the workshop some of this stuff. It's about 10 years out of date, but a couple of months ago I made this piece out of it and it worked quite well. Tough stuff, pretty hard. And I found some black pigment as well. So what I want to try and do is make some that's black, but I want to incorporate some nice goldy bits in it so that it's all sort of sparkly. So what I'm going to use is some of this scrap brass. I've got my shop vacuum which is nice and clean. I've just cleaned it out and I'm just going to literally turn down this brass and suck it all up and see what we get left with. I don't know how much I'm going to need. I'm trying to get different size chips as well, going faster and slower. See what we get. I think that'll probably be enough. Let's have a little look in the tin, see what we've got. It's a great little vacuum. It's a uh, designed for sucking up ash out of um, open fires. It's all metal, metal hose and everything. This looks quite nice in here. I think it'll probably be enough. There we go. As you can see, there's lots of different sizes. I'm hoping when that's incorporated in some black epoxy and cut through and polished, that might come up quite nice. So all we've got to do now is find something to put the whole thing in. Okay, so this is some considerable weeks later. I've got a mixing jug and my brass that I've kept clean in this tub and my very old epoxy, good 10 or 12 years old, and the black dye. Now I've made myself a little tray out of a bit of Zintec just folded up and a couple of ends welded in. That should be uh, just a job. And I'm going to line it with this plastic. It's the sort of stuff you wrap around um, parcels when you're going to send it out. Now I've worked out I need 300 millilitres of uh, epoxy to fill that uh, tray. So I'm going to start with part A. Give it a quick shake. That's a bit tough. I've been very busy throughout the lockdown and uh, this is the first time I've had a chance to get back on this project. Part B. Oh, now that appears to have stuck itself together. This, perhaps the two parts have got leaked together and it's absolutely stuck. So let me get my trusty Swiss Army knife out and see if I can free it. As I say, it's um, been really, really busy. Um, a couple of people I work for have just been flat out sending me work left, right and centre. I've even stopped doing a lot of the horses just so I can... Oh, well, the top's come off. Never mind, that's okay. I'll still get it out of there. Yeah, so I've, still, I've stopped doing some of the horses so I can actually get this work done. And I must say I'm rather enjoying it, not doing the horses so much. 43 years of horses is uh, quite a long time. Now I've got no idea how much of this black pigment to, to put in, if it'll even come out the jar. I've never used it before. 
this lot came I can't actually well remember where it all came from it came in a job lot or something or other I was using I think it was some casting um, stuff for Plaster of Paris and this lot came with it I never used it I don't know if that's going to be dark enough I want this really black so I think I might add a little bit more just to make sure that it's going to be jet black because as you saw from that little piece that I cast the other week it comes up white if you don't do anything with it so I don't want it to come up sort of grey so I'm going to put plenty of black in It's quite cold in here today, so I don't know how fast or slow this stuff goes off. It's very runny at the moment. It doesn't show any signs of getting warm or starting to harden. As I say, it might not be any good. It might be might be off, being that old. But we'll see. Time will tell. Now that's nice and black now. I think that's quite well mixed. So I put this this plastic stuff is like it's like sort of cling film that you put round uh, parcels. I'll just put that in so it doesn't stick. Hopefully, I should be able to get it out fairly easily. Now again, I don't quite know how much of this to put in. I want it to be quite dense. I want quite a lot of it in it. But I'm not sure really how much to put in because it's going to sink, obviously. With this stuff being really runny. Give it a good mix. I want to make sure it's all distributed nicely around the epoxy. Have a bit more. Doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Seem to be putting a lot in and it's still going. Excuse me, my phone's ringing. Typical. Sorry about that. That's my father. Still pretty runny. And I'll tell you what, I think it's going to take all of this. I can't believe it's taken all of that and I think it's going to take all of the fluid. That doesn't make sense to me. I measured that by filling it with water and tipping the water into the that container and it was dead on 300 mils and I've made up 300 mils thinking there's going to be plenty over because of the volume of the brass in there but it's taken both. Hey ho! So all I've got to do now is hope it goes off. Let's just put those few little bits of brass that have escaped in. Yeah, let's hope it goes off and works out. So I'm going to cover it up because I don't want to get any foreign bodies in there overnight. And we'll come back tomorrow, which will be Good Friday. And we'll have a look, see what results we've got. So for now, we're going to leave it like that and see what happens. 
Okay, so it's 24 hours later. Let's see what we've got. I did cross my mind when I left yesterday that I hope I haven't made it too brittle by putting too much brass in. Um, so that there's sort of not enough epoxy to bind it all together. It's nice and hard. So let's see what happens. Um, obviously time will tell once I get it out. I don't think it's going to come out as easy as I was hoping. It is actually loose. I can feel it sort of slightly moving. I don't quite know. It's probably stuck somewhere. There must have perhaps been a bit of a leak and it's uh, stuck somewhere. Let's get this loose plastic off. Yeah, it's definitely loose. Maybe I should have made this um, either tapered or made the side come off. So that's uh, a thought for the future or for anyone who's thinking about doing it. Either make it tapered or make it come apart. Anyway, it is coming out. There we go. We're getting there. That's it, that's got it. Yeah, actually looks quite nice. Obviously it's a little bit denser at the bottom than it is up at the top. For obvious reasons. So I think I need to cut it from top to bottom so I get slices that have got um, more at the bottom than at the top so that they're all the same so I get I'll probably get four out of this four scales otherwise I'll get one with lots in it at the bottom one at the top with virtually none in two in the middle with some in so I might just cut it the other way uh, if you can see how nicely distributed that is all right by the time that's cut and polished and shaped and all the rest of it the brass will shine up. That'll look quite nice. So I'm quite pleased with that so far. So keep an eye open because I will probably be time permitting making a knife for these to, this to go on shortly. So press the subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so that uh, hopefully you'll get notified. Let's have a quick close up, if it will focus. Yeah, there you go. I think that look, that will look quite nice once that's cleaned up and polished and shaped. Obviously you'll get different um, structures in it. But yeah, quite pleased with that for my first attempt. Thanks for watching, keep your eyes open for the knife build that this will go on.